Okay. Sorry. Ran out of time. We have to kind of work with me here because I only have, like, a little point-and-shoot camera. Time out. I think we need tunes back here because for the awkward pauses that I sometimes acquire, we need something for you lovely people to listen to when I'm just rambling incoherently like I like to do. Alright, lovely. Um, wonderful. Anyway, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is probably why I ran out of time last time. Anyway, so connecting to the last video when I was talking about learning how to love blah 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 whatever, okay, that was a little bit dumb looking back and thinking about what I was saying. Um, so just scratch it, pretend you didn't hear it, <laughs> whatever. Um, I would, however, like to go back to the, um, the whole materialistic way of life that we have. Um, because I've got stuff. You have stuff. Obviously, you wouldn't be watching this if you didn't have stuff because you wouldn't have a computer or internet or you wouldn't have the legs to walk to the library or drive to the library, whatever, to watch this, or you wouldn't have friends where they have computers and internet, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You get it. Duh. But there is a level of stuff that we need to get by and a level of stuff that we need to live comfortably and a level of stuff we need just for the sake of having which it, i mean yeah everybody everybody wants things like there there's cool stuff like new electronics and or new toys depending on your age or i mean just new different things that we want and we want to we want to try out and we want to have and it's cool because we see that other people have it and it's just that like natural feeling of well if you have that i want it too it's not i mean that's not a bad thing it's just how we are but i i mean when you die then it's gone. <laughs> you don't have it anymore, so it's not that big of a deal. I guess. Well, to, I mean, to me it's not. I, I don't judge people based on what they, like, what labels they wear or how much money they have or what they own because I'm more focused on how that person is going to treat me. And a lot of people look past that. <laughs> it's kind of like... Ah, uh, what was the example I was going to go with? I suck. Sorry. Ah, uh, bleh. Ugh. Oh, this is bad news bears. Um, ah. <laughs> uh, think, 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 think. Mmm, oh, okay. So it's kind of like, um, like, gold diggers. <laughs> beautiful, thin, blonde, amazing looking girl marries old, decrepit, cannot stand on his own two feet man because he's like an oil tycoon or owns half of Hawaii or something. I don't know. They don't really love each other. She loves his money and he knows that but they're still going to be together because he gets the trophy wife and she gets the money. That's embarrassing. I, like, I am embarrassed for them because it's not a real relationship. Now, if they were, that's not every, that's not every circumstance. Like, there are some times when people of that vast of an age group do love each other and just somehow one of them has a lot of money, but... I think we can all agree that it's kind of rare. I, to me, a successful life is going to work every day and having a job that I love because I went to school and I worked my tail off for it and I fully intend on having that and then coming home to someone that I love very much and that loves me back for the right reasons, not because I have money or because they have money or because whatever, but because we look at each other 
and we just love each other. And that's it. And I cannot wait for that to happen because that, I mean, that is my number one goal in life to be that type of happiness. And that is my, that is my hope and my wish for everyone else's lives. I want you all to be as happy as I want to be because that kind of happiness will change a lot, a lot. I think when you are good, or when you are nice to someone, they are nice to someone, and then they're nice to someone, and it's just that train of over and over and over again, the niceness. And I think it goes the opposite way, too. When you're nasty to someone, then they're in a bad mood, and they're going to be nasty to someone, and then they're going to take it out on someone else, and so on and so forth, down the line. Well, it's almost like a pay-it-forward thing, if you remember that movie, how it was just uh, three people, and those three people had three people, and those three people had three people, and then you ended up with thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of people all in this connected chain. and. It all started back because of one person. Now, tomorrow, today, whenever you go out, like I've said before, think about that. After you treat someone a certain way, think about how they're going to treat someone else and how that person is going to treat someone else. Do you want to be that one person that caused a chain of hate and a chain of like ho these horrible feelings and these terrible emotions? Or do you want to be that person who started this, like, this wave of happiness through all these people because they can just pass on their joy to other people and it all comes full circle. So, you know, if you're mean to all these people, people are going to be mean to you, whether it's the same person or another person and whether you believe in karma or not, it's still going to be a full circle effect because everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows you or some type of degree of separation, however that works, you'll end up running into somebody who's going to be mean to you. It might not be the same day, same week, whatever, but somebody's going to be mean to you and you're not going to like it. But if you're nice to people and then they're nice and all that whole just motion again and someone's nice to you, then you're going to love it and you know you're going to love it. You love when people are nice to you and if you don't, then you're lying to yourself and you're lying to me. Everybody likes when someone is nice to them. I mean, the end. <laughs> like a genuine nice, not like a creepy nice or like a fake superficial nice, a genuine nice. When you can tell that somebody is genuinely happy to talk to you, it's awesome. I love it. You love it. Everybody loves it. End of story. Whatever. <laughs> it's great. So, yeah, just spread some happiness today, tonight, tomorrow, next month, next week, preferably sooner than later would be really cool. And quit with, I wanted to bring this up because I, in my first video about this whole topic from the other day, the thing that really spun the whole YouTube celebrity thing that I brought up and why I use that as an example is because of a certain YouTube celebrity and I was reading through comments and it, it hurt me for her at how mean people were and all of the things that have spawned from her videos. Most of you know Dog Lover 1997-09. I think she is phenomenal. I'm going to put that out there right now. I have tribute videos to her and I am going to publicly say right now that those are not to make fun of her. Those are when you mimic something, someone or something, either way, it is the sincerest form of flattery because I am taking the time to do something that she did because I thought it was so great. I wouldn't do it if I thought it was stupid. I wouldn't waste my time. But going through the comments on her videos, people are terrible. That poor girl. She has to read that stuff and just hate. Like, homegirl is just trying to dance and get it out and goof around to some of her favorite songs and they're just some jerks who are like mm, you're fat or you're stupid or blah 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 whatever and then other people fight for her and then those e evil negative people 
fight with those people and call them stupid and gay or whatever, however people insult each other anymore, God only knows, I don't, whatever. Instead of doing that, bypass it. Don't say anything. What are you gaining from leaving a nasty comment on somebody's YouTube or saying or talking bad about somebody behind their back or making fun of the weird kid at school. What are you getting out of that? A laugh? Attention? Well, guess what, buddy? That attention is only going to get you so far because being a backstabber and being nasty is not going to get you 